Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Kill Stream. I am your host, Ethan Ralph, the owner and the newly reinstalled editor in chief of the RalphReport.com. It has been a while since I've been here for a stream. Not only has it been a while since I've been here for a stream, it's been a while since I've been in free society, period. I am not only very happy to be back, I am a little bit nervous. It the stream is about an hour late, mostly my fault, and I apologize for that, but, uh, you know, my, my second screen didn't want to come on. Uh, as you can see right now, the screen looks like shit, sorry. You know, it's usually a little bit more put together than this. I'm not saying I'm Walter Cronkite or CNN or whatever, but... Buffering already, dude. Yes, well, probably. They messed up his TV. Exactly, Gator. It was it was they that did that. But anyway, um I'm here and uh just ready to get back get back to things. I have not been totally out of the loop since I've been gone. Uh I've I've been uh I guess one way to describe it is I'm not out of the loop at all as far as it goes with mainstream news, with release the memo, with with what's going on with the Trump, with what's going on in the mainstream. As far as what's going on, on the internet it has to, uh, yeah, I am a little bit behind on that. It has to go with, with what my wife, Nora, Ralph, told me. If you, it, it's weird because the mainstream media, I've had the Washington Post every day. I've had the news, television news almost every day. But they don't cover what's going on on campus. They don't really cover what's going on on the internet unless it just totally blows up. So when, Lo what's his name, Logan Paul or whatever, did the, the suicide tree thing in Japan. They they talked about that, uh, but but they didn't really, you know, it, it takes something huge like that to actually get it. So, I'm a little bit behind, but what happened to your voice? I don't know. I can't tell what it sounds like. So, so let me know. Everybody else on the stream can please unmute their mic and speak so I can figure out what happened to my voice. Apparently my voice is jacked. Not sure. He gargled a lot of semen. <laughs> at least, I, at least I think that's what they said. Uh, seen. By the way, it's <laughs> seen. It says My, seen, not semen. Uh, I've seen a lot. Uh, I have seen a lot. Uh, not semen. I, I saw no semen except my own. I jacked off about 434 <laughs> times while they're in jail. There's nothing else to do. Oh. Nobody made me jack off. It wasn't a Jeff Holiday type thing, but. Uh, but but uh yeah I did I did jack off quite a bit. Wild Goose shout out to Wild Goose. That's one of my good friends that I've known for a long time. Right. How you doing, Goose? I gotta say. Yeah. Laughing my fucking ass. Uh, I I was in jail for a long time. That that's basically it. And now I'm out. And uh there was no, you know, I will say, unlike Jeff Holiday and, and other uh, assorted um, asshole enthusiasts on YouTube, my asshole is still virginal. Is that a word, even? I'm not sure. Virginal. But, uh, virginal. 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 I haven't been fucked up the ass, is, is the joke. <laughs> uh, it, it was nothing like that. It was it a was, uh, county jail, so... There, there was no ass fucking going on. So, like I said before, I left. I had my own cell. It was, it was just, it was mostly boring, and I uh, had no internet. Uh, I talked to my wife almost every single day. And yeah, that, that was about it. Just boring and sucks being in jail. My cat died while I was in jail. That sucked too. And yeah, that, that's pretty much, pretty much the whole thing. And here I am. I'm back eight months later. Uh, fucking with my computer, trying to get it work. Press F. Press F for King. <laughs> Press F for King Tut. Yes, yes, I will give you that. Uh, did I know about Jeff getting blown the fuck out? O D. I'm not sure. Uh, yes, I actually did because Nora told me about it. Jeff Holiday is an idiot. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know what to say. He he was never very bright. He he had a you know, whatever thing here on this channel. Uh, but I remember on that stream that he came on of mine, he just he was sucking Mr. Medicare's dick. He was like, I can't wait to listen to Mr. Medicare's new video. Da, da, da. And I said, well, you know, 
I've actually been on a stream with... I mean, me and Mr. Medicare, we're not tight. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But, you know, me and him, you know, we hang out. And we we smoke cigarettes together and <laughs> or whatever, you know. We're, we're, we're big bros. But I've known him. I, I know I know what he's like. Uh, he actually retweeted my, my photo today, so shout out to that. And uh, he's, a, he's a good dude. But, you know, Jeff Holiday is a is a creep. I don't, I don't know what to say. And he bragged about getting fucked up the ass, so I really don't, I don't know. I, I don't know why he thought Mr. Redeker would just, uh, would get in with his bag of, oh, excuse me, I'm not supposed to say that. Uh, <laughs> oh, first you lecture for five minutes before you don't say that fucking word. Here we go, Malcolm from the Boy, North. Wait, shut it down. Malcolm from the North paid me $10 Canadian, and I don't know what that is. In United States, money. It's like two dollars. <laughs> no, it's not two, but it's like it's like, it's like six or seven. It's like six or seven. And he said, "How does it feel coming out of prison?" First off, I, I want to get this straight. It wasn't actually prison. It was county jail, and there had there were people who who had been in prison. There was a the guy who actually got me physically fit. By the way, I would turn on my camera, but my room's kind of a disaster. I have lost ninety four pounds. There's a picture on my Twitter. And that's all legit. I am not not. I'm wearing a medium sized pants right now, down from two X. So that should tell you that that I've lost a lot of weight. Um, I'm still not quite where I want to be. I got about twenty or thirty more pounds to lose. Um, but he got me into training. He had done twenty years in federal prison. I don't want to disrespect people who've actually been to prison. This was more of a kindergarten type. Uh, atmosphere compared to where some people have been. I was in there with a guy who. Who shot somebody in the face and killed killed his baby mama and got thirty eight fucking years in jail. So it was nothing, you know. I I had to experience nothing like that. Um, but anyway, back to the question: How's it feel coming out of prison? I didn't come out of prison, like I said, county jail, and seeing a lot of people who went at you become internet pariahs. Well, that feels pretty good, and that brings me to a subject. Uh, Monday Matt, basically, and. <laughs> I haven't watched the video yet because it was, you know, I've had a lot of shit going on all day. It was kind of hard to even get the stream up and running, which is pathetic. I'm not going to lie to you. It's sad. Um, but my my wife, Nora, who's on the stream. Hi, Nora. How you doing? Amazing. Anyway, she told me that uh, Monday Matt pretty much put out a video. And in case you don't know, I guess I, guess I should fill everybody in. Uh, there was a guy I only wrote for my site he was on most of these streams to be honest with you Seattle for Truth that was his internet name I believe his real name is Lane, Lane Davis right is that correct Nora? yes and I'm not gonna you know sugarcoat it or lie he was a friend of mine uh, not in person never met him in person but as far as friends go internet friends go I talk to him every day um, I knew about the struggles he went through in life. Uh, I knew that he argued with his family, argued mostly with his dad. Uh, I told him other people on chat can confess to it. Uh, I knew he had a problem with his dad, and I said, hey, look, you know, politics is, you know, politics are politics. I separate that from, from, you know, actual relations with your family, relations with friends. If, if you can't, I guess I was just raised to where if you disagree with somebody, you disagree. Um, especially if they're good friends with you and through your family. You don't throw them out because they disagree with you politically. That's me personally. That's how I've always lived my life. And I said, hey, man, it's not that serious. You disagree with your dad politically. He's a liberal, whatever. He's aggressive. You know, don't chill out. Don't take he couldn't really understand that. While I was, you know, in jail, he... Killed his father. I don't think that's a dispute by anyone. Uh, I know he still has to go to trial. He might have some type of defense. I haven't heard of. <laughs> I haven't heard of a reasonable excuse to stab your father in the back. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. Given the uh, given the cell phone recordings, no. Yeah, and and I haven't actually listened to the cell phone recordings, but they were described to me, and you know, I I'm not gonna make excuses for anybody that does something like that. I'm not gonna sit here like you know supporters of the the skeptic feminist and and sit here and say he was high on mushrooms and 
you know, he didn't really do that, or what, you know, oh, God, he, oh, he was my friend, and he was fucked up, and he went to war, and God damn it, you know, fuck, what, how dare you? No, you know, he killed his dad, and uh, he, he'll have to answer for that in a court of law, and um, I was sad to hear it, obviously, because he's my friend, you know, it, it's, it sucks when you hear somebody just ruin their the whole fucking life over something that could have been avoided. I, I don't know. It, it it hurts me, but he chose that path, and he, he'll have to answer for it. But, you know, I was told of this video Monday Matt made, and it's like, oh, Ralph, you encouraged murder, and you, you helped him along the path. Well, you know what? That's the exact fucking opposite, if you want to know the truth. Um, I didn't encourage him. I actually tried to you know, d dissuade him from anything like that. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just disappointing. And I, I know Monday Matt apparently had had a child. I, I don't really believe that because uh, <laughs> any woman, I, I just have a hard time believing that any woman who has an IQ above sixty five would consciously let herself be impregnated by a slug like Monday Matt. So um, he had a he had a little cushion from a waifu pillow. Yeah, I, I mean, either this is somebody else's baby, or, you know, I, I don't really know what. Maybe she's just, maybe she just let him impregnate her so she could collect welfare checks. I'm not sure, but I, I don't maybe really Maybe he used believe. a turkey baster. Yes, yes. I, I just have a hard time believing that, that any woman who, who is a fully conscious, sentient being will let herself be impregnated by such a piece of shit. Did you miss it while you were away? He tried to crowdfund a car for her. Oh yeah, I heard about that. He's like, I don't want to crowdfund, but you know, if I have to, and da 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 da. And you know, sometimes I'm not gonna down everybody. Sometimes people do have to crowdfund, but you know, it's Monday, Matt. Well, Matt, Matt. But he likes, had just finished Matt crowdfunding to for his want car. To do this. Matt, Matt does like to say, I don't want to have to make this yeah, video. Yeah, I would hate to have to do this, but please give me money. Okay, all right, yeah. Uh, I just think it's pathetic to to go on to that level, but especially when I was in jail, how did I have anything to do with it? You know, I haven't talked to this son of a bitch in, in weeks. What, 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 I, I don't understand how... Well, you're how, a criminal mastermind and the head of the alt-right yeah, game. Yeah, clearly, again. clearly, you know. I was drunk on According a couch to... in a hotel, and, you know, that makes me a criminal mastermind. Anyway, go ahead, Gator, go ahead. According to Jarbo the Hut, you had some like minority report shit going on, so you could see the future and you knew that Seattle was gonna do this. Yeah, I don't uh and I'm not gonna I I'll say a couple more things about Seattle. First off, um uh, some of the work he did for my site, uh a large you know, portion of it. Now I let him do a lot of what he wanted to do. That doesn't mean I agreed with with everything you wrote. I let him write some things. I didn't necessarily agree with every single thing and I said, Hey, you know, I, I always have taken pride in my site in letting people publish, letting thoughts get out there that I might not necessarily agree with. And hey, Mr. Sonic, uh, thank you for the welcome back. Somebody told me to pay attention to the Super Chat. If I missed the Super Chat, let me know. I don't think I did, but uh, anyway. Uh, I, I like different thoughts getting out there. He he was definitely, you know, um, further out there, or whatever you want to say, than me. He had some different thoughts. But I, I, uh, I don't know. He was just a friend of mine, and and I feel bad for his family, especially his mother. You know, I haven't listened to the nine one one tape. I don't know. It makes me sad to think about life being pretty much over because of all that. And I tried to tell him, hey, don't don't go down this path. He didn't listen. And um, one of the decisions that I actually made while I was Incarcerated, I told uh, the acting editor, uh, or Ralph, who, by the way, did a, an amazing job with a with a uh, with a tough hand. She also did some work of her own you know, for Milo's site. I also people don't like Milo, but whatever. She did good work for him. She did good work. Um, kept the flame going. And I'll always appreciate her for that, and not only for that, but for you know all. The other ways, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I forgot what I was saying. But, uh, oh, yeah, I worked for Milo's guys. 
No, that that was, I, I I actually lost my because I was trying to be eloquent and I forgot what I was saying uh, about Seattle, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I I don't know. It, it it's hard to it, it's hard to think about what he did and uh, where he's at. That that's the, the reality of the matter. People kill people. I don't know what to say. Um, and it's definitely fair game for people to make fun of or, or to make memes about. Shep is the best pupper. Let me, let me read that out. Too many cucks. You know, it's fair for people to make fun of and, and to make jokes about. I said that even while I was in jail. I said that out. Laugh about it. I don't blame them. But uh, for me, it's not really funny to me. Just because. And I'll still make the, mac the macabre jokes here and there. But um, it, it is kind of. It is kind of sad. Life like that. Oh, oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, the decision that I made was to take all his work off of my site. Take as many videos. And I haven't went back and checked um, you know, myself. You know, I had nowhere to do it. But uh, to take his videos down from the channel. Take his work down from the site. And I know some people are like, oh, you're trying to scrub history. And, and some of his work was good. And why are you taking it all down? Well, you know. First off, uh, I do this for a living. Uh, I, I don't want. I don't want to say that, you know, the money doesn't compromise me. I still want to have my my set of values, my set of morals. But um, I I didn't feel it was right to keep his work up. And I, I also I took other work down. I just want to be able to defend stuff that's on my site. You know that I wrote it myself. Nora wrote it herself, or you know what I mean. Uh, I I didn't want to to keep that stuff up there, um, given what had happened. And so, if people disagree with that, that's fine. I understand, but um, I took it down. It was no master plan. All those, almost all those articles are archived. If you want to, you know, find that. It's not like they're hidden. But uh, I just thought thought it was the best course of action. You see, this, this is the thing, like Chris for Texas, people claimed you were taking down evidence of a murder. I mean, no. come on. It come was, on. It was nothing Seriously. like that. No, and guess what? Um, I'll just say this on stream. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I've been... Whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh, his, his lawyer sent me a message while I was in jail saying, you know, could you talk to us, da 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 I'd be glad to talk to anybody about anything I know or, or you think I might be able to add to your case or anything like that. Pretty much anything I know, anything like that is already out there. There is nothing. I told him personally, don't go down this path with your father. Stop arguing about politics with your family. And was in jail. they just didn't, he just didn't listen to that. So, um, I feel b I feel bad for the family. I feel bad for him. But what else can you do, really? I I don't know. Um, just something happened. It doesn't so. change the quality of his work, but at the same yeah, time, I, agree with that. I can understand not wanting to keep it up and make money off it because it's like bad association. Well, yeah, and, and plus I've written stories. Money. Um, other people written stories for my site. You know, so and so is making money off pedophiles. So and so is making money off somebody who did this. Well, look. I just want to take that, you know, arrow out of the, out of the equation. Say, look, I'm not making money off of it. And guess what? Two or three of his articles were in my top ten all time articles, and I took those down. You cannot reach those articles on a Ralph Retort URL right now. And I just said, no, that's over. And, uh, I think what the bullshit, the bullshit thing about it is that the people that were criticizing you were saying simultaneously. Oh well, you're taking you're removing evidence. You're you're trying to hide these articles, oh. and at the same time, if you had left them up, they would have accused you of trying to make money off. Exactly, of it. exactly. it's a double. -edged yeah, you're sword. damned if you do, and damned if you don't. Exactly. So <laughs> it's if you leave them up, you're making money off a of murder. If you take them down, you're trying to hide. Look, I'm not trying to hide. Anything. If you want the art, if you really want them, fucking email me the Ralph at the Ralph Retour .com. I'll give you a copy of whatever you want. Now they're already they're already out there the archives, but if you really, if you can't find it, hit me up. I will make sure you get the copy. How about that? Um, Sponge, I believe this is the euro symbol. 
Sponge just said, yeah, yeah. actually, he said it a while back, but we were running our mouth. And he said, Welcome back, Ralph. We will be seeing you on the Kumite in the future. Hey, look, I've, I've been locked down for eight months. I don't really know what the Kumite is, but I would damn sure be glad to come on there. Uh, plus, I'm convinced Matt bought an animatronic baby. And you know what? I would not doubt that at all. Uh, a little birdie told me that he pretty much, whatever slut he knocked up, that he just uh, oh. he just grabbed uh, her and uh. she was she was half out of it after squeezing that little fucking brat oh, out okay. of her fucking <laughs> hole. Uh, okay, a quick change. Um, somebody explain what the kumite is to me because I I don't. I don't right, know, so... but somebody tweeted that at me as well. So go ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Tonka saw. And Andy Worski and I can't remember the other guy's name, but they've started a morning stream like every single day. They get people on and they have like basically like an internet blood sport argument where they'll like argue about just all kinds of random shit. And so morning kumite has basically become this new phenomenon where you have people just beating the shit out of each other over the internet. Hey, kind of like a kill stream. I was about to say that's pretty much my thing. Uh, uh. Two Kumite, excuse me. I'm, Kumite. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry, my, I was like, I'm not Kumite. up on my Jap pronunciation. Yeah, I thought it was called me, Kumite. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the thing about it is, and and uh, actually Nora told me about this. I think she said that uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center was, was after Andy Worski, which just made me laugh because I, I'm not saying anything article, bad about actually. Andy Worski, by the way. It just... It's like, oh, Andy Worski is a white supremacist now? Okay, well, I guess everybody is then. Uh, because he, he just, it, you know, I'm not, before I went in, yeah, that's I wasn't. Pretty, that's pretty much yeah, that, that's, like that's a pretty broad things. category. I, I, You know, I'm, I'm not a super scholar when it comes to his work, but as far as I know, he was just, you know, a, a shit poster, a guy who had people on, you know, talking shit. Like, I, I didn't really know he was Richard Spencer part two, you know. Um, so, and by the way, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not going to get into Richard. Uh, Charlottesville, I was also um, behind bars for that. Uh, the Charlottesville you're behind, thing. You're behind bars for Charlottesville. Yeah, should we Why? just what? talk about Charlottesville too? I, I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me read this next this next one because it's uh, the Bacon from Hell. And by the way, I know Bacon. Man, gamer game. God, it never dies, does it? <laughs> <laughs> It never goes away. No escape. You, no you escape. can't get away from it. And I especially The ride never ends, dude. Yeah, it never ends. The ride never ends. Especially, you know, I was one of the people hyping it up. And justifiably so. I'm not going to sit here. You know, some of it's hilarious. Some of it's, you know, there were a lot of dumbass motherfuckers involved, too. But um, I do think a lot of it was worthy. Uh, so well, this, how does it feel when you went to jail, like... The headlines were Gamergate leader arrested. That was hilarious. And I, and I told people, you know, when you're in jail and you're telling people, oh, yeah, you know, the Washington Post wrote about me when I went to jail. You know, most people are going to say, they just don't believe it. There's a lot of bullshit. People are saying all kinds of shit. Um, but, yeah, that actually happened. I was in jail with a person who was worth, you know, $20 million who sold aircrafts. Um, who, whose business was actually renting and selling G5s and above planes. And he was in jail for the last month that I was there. And I, I would just caution people before they think you can't go to jail and it's all these other people go to jail and this and that. Guess what? It could happen to anybody. You have a bad day. You have a bad night. Um, it, it can definitely He had a very you. bad night. What are you He had about? a very bad night. He had... <laughs> Five assaults on police. He had fucking. He put a fucking underage dude in the hospital, um, who who was in his house. But guess what? He he walked out of jail, fucking twelve hours before I did, and that's because he was worth millions and millions of dollars. But uh, you know what? I don't hate on him. I I you know I was glad to. See. Anyway, the bacon from hell. That was where I was at. Welcome back, Ralph. Many people shat on you on Twitter while you're away. I do not doubt that at all. But I never did. Seek retribution. And also, YouTube has changed while you've been gone. Please be sure to be Islamic friendly. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, inshallah. 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 Inshallah, brothers. Yeah. Yes, inshallah. Yeah, I think, I, I, think, I think Ralph's pretty Islamic friendly. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm very Islamic friendly, if you know what I mean. But, uh, um, 
that didn't go over, but uh, my wife's not actually. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm not listening. Yeah, no, it's a good joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Anymore. we need to tell you this. While you were away, <laughs> we all converted. We will defeat the infidels. <laughs> but no, seriously, Bacon, thank you for that, man. That was really generous of you to throw. I mean, you know, I don't want to get screwed or whatever, but he just gave me $20, so I appreciate that. So, man, I don't know. It was really boring in jail. I don't know. I don't know how. It, it, it's almost overwhelming. Like I, I tweeted out on Twitter. By the way, thank you, Jim, for retweeting my my picture. Thank you, all you guys. I don't. Know, it's it's kind of you're sitting every day in there. It's it's really boring. There is some I'm exciting. Dude, dude, mostly it's just boring as fuck. Jill, I don't know what to say. Like it's not, it's not, it's not that scary. I mean, every once in a while, you know, whatever. People get when you're living in a in a enclosed environment with you know 12 to 16 grown men some of those men have been in prison some of those men have their whatever um there will be well, Ra arguments. ralph at the at the risk of like you know compounding what you said is boring can you just give us a like you know like 60 second what it's like in a day okay there? what'd okay. you do yes i can so um <laughs> From nine o'clock and well, this is the Loudoun County Adult Detention Center, by the way. This is not every place. Um, so I was in the maximum pod, which I told everybody I would be in max, which means I had my own cell. There was no, I had no cellmate. So um, from nine o'clock until about six thirty or seven, you're locked down, which means I'm in my cell by myself. Then they wake you up, you come out, you get breakfast. Um, most days you're able to stay out. And after two months, I started working out from about breakfast time, which is about seven seven thirty until nine o'clock, and I would start working out, and then you would stay out from nine o'clock until um, eleven thirty, and you would lock down from eleven thirty until one thirty, and they would let you out at one thirty, and you would, you know, you'd be out in the pod with everybody else, and you could play cards. Read your book, or you could walk around the pod, or you could just, you could do whatever. You go in the bathroom and jack your dick. You could <laughs> take a shit. I mean, you could do whatever you wanted, pretty much. <laughs> and at 4.30, and, and this is towards the later end of my, my stay. Originally, they would let you stay out until about 5, until they brought the dinner trays. Uh, towards the later end, they started actually enforcing their own rules, where you would um, lock down at 4.30. They would bring you your dinner anywhere from... 4.30 to 5.15 or so. And then you would get back out at 7. You would be out from 7 until 9. And then you would be locked back down again. Do, do, doing, doing what? 7 till 9? Just like do whatever you want. I mean, you could... You, could uh, you, you mean when you're out? Yeah, there's about a 23 inch or so. Maybe 20... I don't know. 28 inch television. Uh, one television in max. If you were in medium, there would be two televisions. But where I was at, there was one. And, What's it tuned to? Uh, it was usually tuned to sports, but sometimes we would also watch cool. movies. And when my uh, the person who was basically my trainer um, ended up being my trainer, would keep it on, on news. So sometimes we would have it on Fox News, sometimes we would have it on SNC. So yeah, that was that that was held the clock. Cool. Or ESPN. I got a good listen. I grew up watching sports. I, I, you know, that was nothing to me. Uh, I know some people on the stream might not care about sports, or whatever. I had kind of gotten out of the habit of watching sports, but I have a, you know, a large base of knowledge from growing up watching sports. It didn't bother me. Uh, we watched. And, and what? And what's that? Was that every day, like weekends? That was every day. Seven days a week. That was every. Day. Wow. So you. That was every day, but, you, but the thing you about it is... kind of track what day it was, or... I mean... Well, yeah, because every morning, almost every morning, minus about maybe 20 or 20 to 30 days while I was there, um, you would get the Washington Post. They would bring a full paper of the Washington Post, and you would uh, share it among, you know, 12 to 16 people. And uh, the way I had it set up, uh, because, you know, I was, you know, I was friends with with people you didn't want to fuck with. <laughs> um, 
Uh, oh, I, would, good, man. I would get the A section of the Washington Post, which was the you know front page section. I would get it every day from 11.30 to 1.30 when I went into the cell. Now, I could have got it earlier, but I just wanted it when I went into the cell so I could sit back and relax and uh, read yeah, it. Read it right. And yeah. I would read that. I would usually read the style. I would uh, sometimes read the sports. Um, food section would come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I would look at that sometimes on Tuesdays and yeah, that that was it. And of course, uh, on Wednesday nights they would bring the book cart, and uh, you you would get books. I actually read a book by uh, Gore Vidal called Burr. It's a fictional novel about Aaron Burr. Um, I I read Wuthering Heights, which was written by Emily Bronte. Wow. Um, Bronte. Whatever. Uh, English. Font. <laughs> and uh, it was really good. <laughs> It was really good. I actually liked it a lot better than Jane Eyre, so uh, which was written by her sister. Um, so yeah, I, I read I read books like that. I read Plutarch. I did have some good, good reading going. Yeah. Did you did you make a fee fee? Oh, that's no, I didn't, and and I'm glad you actually uh, mentioned that a fee fee is basically something that you fuck. It's supposed to be like a pussy. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, but, Brilliant. I, I did. Hey, I Hello. Hello. That's my I first question. Me. I didn't make it. Hey, I, I would just, I would just jack off with, with my hand if, if, if it got to that level. What you, my... what you frequently Hello. did. Is this, this me, I, I <laughs> uh, but, uh, but one thing I want to clarify about all this is it could all be subverted by the whim of the people who ran the jail. So they could, all of a sudden, you could be logged in all day and you not get out for your for your uh, recreation, and there was nothing you could do about it because you're in jail. So you would just be sitting in your cell the whole day. There was several, you know, multiple days like that where you're just sitting in your cell. Nothing. Also, I will say this. Uh, if you had money, which I, I wasn't rich in there, but I had enough money to buy a radio, enough money to buy a commissary, uh, thanks to uh, my family and, and some of the friends, maybe some of them listening the stream i had enough money to buy a radio so i was able to listen to my radio it would only work in my cell it wouldn't work out in the pod because the ceilings are so high and they're made out of fucking brick so uh they only work in the cell but i was able to listen to, um the, the local uh, npr and i was able to listen to mark Le- russell and ball and you can you can listen to that whenever you want uh, well, well I guess whenever you're in your cell yeah. make you turn it to make yeah. you turn it off at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So John Bassler, that's another show at night. I would listen to sometimes. So, yeah. No headphones. Yeah, yeah. You had headphones. There was it. It was. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was headphones. You couldn't listen to it without. They let you listen to the Alex Jones show. Yeah. No, there was no Alex Jones, unfortunately. <laughs> By the way, Guitar Anthony's in the chat. I don't know if he's been sent the uh, link. Uh, yeah, he was. He was just in here, and then you cut him off. Oh, what? Well, bring him back. Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking. No, look, I, I don't even have the. I usually have two screens going. I don't tonight because the other screen is not coming on, and I really don't know what to do about it. Uh, other than you know, be another three hours late to the stream, so I figured. It was See, when I was editor in chief. How many? Well, okay. How many <laughs> streams did you do? Zero, and they yeah. all went perfectly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I figured. Me, me, me. <laughs> Reverse braces. Okay. Did you doesn't con- exist? Did you wait, convert wait, to the Aryan trying, Brotherhood? Wait, wait. That? Did you convert the Aryan Brotherhood to Gamergate? No, I did not. But I, I will work on that if I happen to go back. <laughs> uh, Mark Samothy, uh gave me a super chat. By the way, I'll be still listening. I got yeah, onto yeah. a long spill because. I forget who even asked me now about what the day was like. That was the day. Um, he said, glad you made it through, Ralph. That was me. Congrats. Oh, fuck. Glad you made it, Ralph. Congrats on the wait. <laughs> uh, congrats on the wait. Thank you. I lost 94 pounds. According to my height, I have about 20 more pounds to lose. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So what was- Go ahead, get- Go ahead Be- uh, Beagle. I think that was Beagle. Or whoever the fuck was talking. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, well, that was Beagle. That was Beagle. Yeah. What did you do to lose that kind of weight? What was your daily routine as far as That's workouts? That's good. And um, I'll get into this 
other time, but uh, the guy who helped me Beagle's, lost the weight. Beagle's voice is fucking low. The guy who helped me lose the weight ended up <laughs> getting out, and he went back in. And it's a long story, and I won't, you know, go into it completely. But uh, what I did. Did your trainer weight. have like a nickname, like Nails or something? Squeaky. Oh, oh, squ he really, really had a nickname. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was his nickname. Master. Squeaky. 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 That was Squeaky the Chakra Master. Squeaky. Apparently. That that was it. Squeaky. But okay, so the the things I did to lose weight was was one. Uh when I originally started working out, I worked out five days a week and you would take Saturdays and Sundays off. Um as I got further along, I would usually work out six or seven days out uh, out of the week. Um I would also um a shoe, a shoe, however you say that, I believe it, a shoe, E S C H E W, um, all, almost all sugar, which is not that hard in jail because you don't really get them. Um, <laughs> so I would, I would not eat sugar, would not eat the cakes, I would not order M and M, um, cookies, and shit off the commissary. I would. Uh, you fucking wanker! This is what I was giving you money for. Yeah. yeah, well, I would still order commissary, but it would be tuna. And I bought a fucking radio. No, it would be. It would. It would, it would. No, listen. It would be tuna fish. It would be, you know, peanut butter. Peanut butter's got some, you know, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of fat, but it's there. That's healthy fat. You know, right. peanut butter has protein and stuff, so it's good for you. Um, I okay. would eat peanut butter. I would eat fruit. I would eat tuna fish. Uh, I would. I would eat as little. Little bread as possible. I would still eat bread every once in a while, but uh, not that much. I would not eat cake. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much how I did it. Working out five to seven days a week, and uh, watching what I ate, watching portion sizes, uh, the weight just melted off. I don't I don't know what to say. And it's not uh, you know something you can rest your laurels on. Or something. I could easily I could easily gain that weight back. <laughs> um, it, it could easily happen, and so uh, yeah, it's it's not something to just uh, get comfortable about, but uh, it's more of a thing. I don't know if people who've worked out or or got big into workouts, um, burpees. I don't know if you know what a burpee is, but uh, oh god, if, if you <clears throat> if you had been in S one hundred with me, you would know what a burpee is. You would know what a gator is. Speaking of you, gator. Um, you crawl, <laughs> you crawl out, you crawl in. Um, oh god, just so many workouts. A burpee will fuck you up though. You could just take the burpee itself and just do a burpee regimen, and you could really get in shape. They call it the burpee because most people that do it just profusely vomit after <laughs> Holy they're done. Holy shit! You you are not lying, dude. Uh, the burpee will will get you going. So, um, that that was the main um instrument of of my weight loss. Perfect, so. Moral of the story: All fat people should be put in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, I agree. Uh, Cyril Figgis said, "Anyone get raped while you were there? No, not that, not that I know of." Um, I'm sure many people did, just not in jail. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> not, I'm quite certain a lot of people got raped, but uh, I, I don't. You know should have seen it. the Me Too movement, dude. I do have a story, and I'm not gonna. Tell it all here. But... I don't think it's necessary to tell that story. Well, you know the story, so you're, you're yeah, already... I know. You're but I'm also, I'm also your wife. All I'm saying is, someone allegedly got right, but it wasn't while I was. Um, I won't go into it. Uh, by the way, I don't. Your Honor. Yes, I I do plan on on uh writing a book about all this. I don't know if I want to buy it, but uh, I think it's in. The main thing, I'll just say, when I went to jail... You should call it, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Instead of Hillary's, yeah, what happened? What the fuck happened? Uh, actually, the title that I had in mind, and I don't know if I'll stick with it, was For Lost Time. And uh, when I went to jail, um, I knew it was going to suck, obviously, still. But uh, I wanted to have some good things come out of it. Hello, then, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can, asshole. Um, you know, I, I call the suicide hotline. This is what I get. 
Leave it, leave it to the Italians. I have a train schedule in my hand. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yes. Anthony, that was guitar, no. Anthony. By the way, uh, we're we're going to uh, shoot him. Yes, welcome back, brother Ralph. Thanks very much. By the way, I heard you uh, made some photoshops, which I haven't actually got to see them all yet. But uh, oh lord, yeah, I, I, it was a good idea about thirty-three days out, and then I was like, what the hell have I done? <laughs> Here, let me let me read some comments on your interest. Blue Wolf said, "Welcome back, your buddy Jeff Holiday." Yes, that's my good buddy Jeff Holiday. I'm I'm glad you, <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned him. Your buddy Jeff Holiday turned out to be a doxing, um, tagget. How about that? Tagif. Uh, word you can't say on YouTube anymore. Yes, word you can't say. Tagif with wizard <laughs> and sucking off Prout and T on the Discord. Yeah, you know, I heard a lot about that. Can, I heard. You can say- they talk out on uh, English YouTube because it used to be a crime. I heard, I heard, uh, crime you know, listen, I'll, I'll say one thing. Crown T, somebody I'm not really tight with or whatever, but he was always nice to me. And uh, I remember he, get, he he got really up in arms about doxing and, oh my God, how could you, oh my God, how could you dox somebody? What, you know, what the fuck? What kind of piece of shit are you? How could you dox somebody? You know, my days. Going way back in Gamergate, I already know that most fucking weirdos who say that are docs. I mean, I'm I'm just being honest. Well, uh, it, you know, all the people basically... who are complaining about docs. Go ahead, go ahead, Zidane. I didn't mean, to go I, I was gonna say, I was no, it's fine. I was gonna say his his mo was being nice to your face and then docs your ass in, in the background. Exactly. Uh, you know, almost everybody who's complaining about, and this goes for me too. Back in the day, I was like, God damn, how could you? What a scumbag! How could you? How could you dox someone? What what the fuck? You're a piece of shit. How could you unmask them? You're you're a god. You should be hung. Uh, you know, most of those people. Guess what? They're doxing people behind yeah. the scenes, what? and they're and they're sending messages like, oh, you know, what's his address? We'll leak this on uh, Gamergate Revolt, or let's throw this on 8chan, and maybe they'll swat him and kill him. You know, no, I mean, I'm being serious. This is this is how this talk goes. Now, I never, you know, I'm never trying to get anybody killed, but, you know, at, at a certain point, I was just like, you know what? Let's just be honest. Everybody's trying to dox everybody else. And if you're out and if you're talking shit and if you're trying to be a personality, people are going to try to dox you. And if you can't accept that, then go away. I, I don't know what to say. What do you think about family members, though? Uh, like uh, mothers, fathers, grandparents... You know, I mean, there's uh, nothing you can do to stop. I will say, you know, my, my actually, like, Nora. She, yeah, Zidane, Zidane's gonna get all salty about Mikey Nor- next month. <laughs> Nora's in this no, chat. Nora's mine. in this chat. Yeah, she, you fucking. Listen, let me say, Nora's in this chat, and she mentioned something about Laura Lomer, who is, you know, she was an idiot before I left. I'm not gonna sit here and defend her. She's worse now. Yeah, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. But, but she worse. said she was at she was having a beef with somebody. I don't even know the full details, but she said she was having a beef with somebody. And she looked them up, and she saw, I don't know if it was their mom or their dad or somebody. It was Mike, it was Mike Enoch, and it was his mom, and she was a Democrat voter. Yeah, well, you know what? Mike Enoch, that's fair game. I hate to be that person, but uh, Mike Enoch put his shit out there. And you know what? Guess what I did to Elliot Lustig? Uh, guess what I did to other people? Um Put his wife out there. Put his family out there. I'm not gonna sit. You're here. a horrible pastor. But, but no, I'm just not. I'm not gonna try to take the high ground and say, "Oh God, how dare you bring up their yeah, family?" But you know, it's what? she didn't exactly dox her. She put her picture up. Like, well, I, I'm I not trying to hey, defend what she did. You could just—it's our Facebook. You could just right-click it and Google search the but Facebook. But guess what? Damn I didn't it. dox those people either. And Zidane, you know, you you saw what I was doing with Elliot Lustig. You saw what I was doing with. Elliot you didn't say, oh. Well, to be fair with Elliot Lustig, we did dox him, but is yeah, it's him just in the picture. Okay, well, but I don't it's feel him. bad about not, that. It's not you didn't go. No, neither do that. I. I fucking it's did it. So I'm like, yeah, so, <laughs> there's so, a difference so how can I though. say, oh God, how dare you? And you because know, I don't know, because I, I just, Antifa and leftists aren't going to go after his mom. Okay, well, guess what? You know how much. I don't know. I, I don't no, want to. I don't want to get what? into this I mean, thing where n- nowadays that that's the problem is is if you dox these people. Okay. Well, look at the things. Listen. I don't want to get you know, harassing the mom. I don't want to. No. You know. That's the problem. Now. I don't want to drop some beef with with you know TRS or whatever. And, and There's no going. beef. I'm it's just saying. 
when you go out there and when you it doesn't matter when, when you go yeah, after anyways, people mom. think about the things they've said about other people and if your shit's out there people are going to use it I, I don't know what to say and if you don't want to be that be anonymous and if you can't be anonymous go away if, if you can't handle the heat go away i mean i i don't know yep. that that's just yep. me yep. i i listen People put out all kinds of shit about me. They found things I posted ten years ago, and, and well, yeah, they're just... gonna find that. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, again, guess what? You. They're gonna find what your parents did too, and they're gonna say, "Oh, he's." I, I don't. But know. is it right? She, no, the the difference that. is, she just fine. Blasted now, out to two hundred thousand people saying that it's her journalistic well, right listen, to do that. I don't. I'm not a fan of Laura Lumber. I'm just saying on this particular. <laughs> like, I'm a journalist. She didn't so. Own up to it. That was the worst part of yeah. it. Like, come on, um, own up to being a piece of shit. Come on. I'm not gonna get you're, moralistic about it. As long as you can't say you're a journalist and then yeah. like, she's not that. a journalist. She's a shit post. That's what her, her her literal response was. Like, well, I'm a journalist, so I'm allowed to do this. Yeah. Basically, yeah. that's what she said. So she, well. Ralph, Ralph comes back for one night and we're ready into fucking GGR versus GG+. Oh, stop! Somebody said, Ralph, Ralph, is that really you? Yes, mom. Ralph, is, it. it is really Ralph. Gamergate is basically dead. It's just the SJWs will never let it go. Listen, dude. Or is. I'm, I'm never going to... So I'm not going to sit here... You're leader anymore? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and say, "Oh, Gamergate's dead" or whatever. But I moved on from that a long time ago, Good. <laughs> way before I went to jail. So he will never die. Yeah, <laughs> he'll never leave us. No, yeah. no, I, know, I, I mean, I, yeah, I accept. Like we moved on and stuff, but it, it's always gonna come up when, when but, we're talking uh, about I, ta I, tactics I, that were like tactics. brought up versus. <laughs> well, <laughs> Malcolm, all fucking Malcolm tactics says, versus. Like you know, like Malcolm said, I have a feeling you'd be on that list of crowds where you're not in jail. I'll, I would just say this. Yeah. Personally, I believe it. I, I, sure. I mean, you know, I probably believe it too. Yeah, everybody. I would just say personally, I never had a problem with crowd, but when I heard, you know, he was making phantom enemies and stuff like that. I <laughs> listen. A lot of hey, people... I've never had to do that. I've never had to do that because there's no shortage of people who who want to go at me. Um, so I've never had to say, "Oh God, let me invent an enemy." You know, they're they're already out there. I don't have to sit here. And yeah, but shit. I don't think you would have been in that Discord because it was no, autistic. I would. As well. Yeah, I, I don't. Know. You know, I've been in a lot of jazz. Like, oh, because you play. can't play nice with I, people. I don't think he would be in the Discord as a participant. He'd have one of the sidebars being like, "This is a him. lot of We're people are him. afraid to put me in the thing as like, oh, Ralph's doing this or that or whatever." I don't. know. Ralph is yeah, gonna. Ralph's this. not a YouTube scientist. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not academic, but he wouldn't be in there. I don't know. I, I'm not one of these moralistic people who who said, "Oh God, you know, how dare you dox people?" And then on the low, they're dox. It's not. At one time, hey, let me say this. I don't, I don't mean to cut you off, but That's at one time, I was that person at the beginning of Game Brigade. I was that person. Oh, how dare you dox people? And then on the down low. I'm trying to find out everything about every fucking enemy, quote unquote, that I might have, and I'm trying to dox them. I mean, there's no doubt. If it's, if and, it's you versus him, it's fine. Yeah, it's two people. It's whatever. I'm not trying to get grandma, grandpa. Nah, you know what? And, and then the what next is dox? Neighbor's dog. Yeah, I'm not trying to <laughs> then, dox them. And then, to then get what to is them. doxing though exactly? Okay, so are you Other unmasking doxing. people, quote unquote, Releasing to use information? Are you unmasking like them? Faces. Are you? But are you okay? So what's doxing? Just saying their name or saying their address and saying go swat them. You know what? What is actually good point. I I don't oh. support swatting or anything like that. Um, but as far yeah. as somebody who's on the internet trying to be anonymous and they're not able to be anonymous and they you know get their identity put out there, well that's on them. I, I don't know. I agree with that. Absolutely. That, Everyone's that, gonna get their identity re revealed eventually. You can't. You, no one's a hundred percent anonymous. It's it's insane. But I'm not saying you go after people's. You know. Geriatric Dark Vulgar said, "Ralph, you were the best friend friend Gamergate could have. Not that cunt from San Francisco. Um, we we won't mention his name. So I know he's a big. Um, I don't know. I, <laughs> you know, after after things just got blown up, I just feel like you know, I don't. People are trying to dox people. I don't. I don't know what to say. And I've doxed people. I don't give a fuck. It's Doxing not. It's not illegal a... to dox people." And, and when we see what's come yeah, out, yeah, but everyone has different definitions. Everyone's of doxing yeah. everyone, so if you can't get with that, I, I don't know. 
Yeah, and it depends on the like Nora just said what the definition is. Are you just unmasking an anonymous person yeah. with information that's already out there, or are you taking it a few steps further, I'm finding their uh, credit going card after, information, finding the credit card information, or going after their brother who By works the way, at a job and calling the brother's job, you know, shit like that. Yeah, you know, I don't get, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. It's a slippery slope between unmasking someone and oh, calling their job and getting. Them you know, get them fucking fired. You know, well, I don't really support that. Well, not even that. Like, their family member. No, nah, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't really support that. But, you know, if you're out there with yourself, people are going to look and see what they can find. Mike Enoch, I don't know. I, I don't want to... Uh, well, I'm not defending him. I don't like the guy. I don't care. I, I'm I don't not defending care. him. I'm not in the whole ethno state the thing. thing, but whatever. If you if you get out there with that shit, of course they're gonna look at your family. Of course they're gonna know you're married to a fucking Jew. Of course they're gonna yeah. know you have Jew kids. You know Jew you know, kids. Wh wh what are you thinking? I mean, you're sitting here talking about Jews are evil, and you're married now. to a fucking <laughs> Jew. So what? You know what? I, I, you know what? The J word like five times. You YouTube's totally taking this down. I love I love the Jews, by the way. I'm I'm it's sitting here. Showa. I'm sitting here, oh, sitting here eating gefilte fish. At, We're at, all I love the Jews. I know the greatest Jews. <laughs> Don't make any less I'm just saying, day. you want to act holier than thou, and and you're you're married to Jews. I I don't know. Whatever. What? Whatever. Did you just say you want to act holier than thou, and then you're married to Jews. Yeah, it's funny. I mean. <laughs> Jews are evil. Jews are evil, except when I fuck them. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. What a, what a, He's just all about that know. Ashkenazi <laughs> IQ and those Khazar knockers. Kosher rock. Shut it down. Milk Boy, that man. Jewess. Milk that Jewess. That Ian, this is why you're not invited anyway. <laughs> of course. <laughs> By the way, actually, I, you know what's funny? I have nothing against Jews, and this is gonna sound. I hope the Southern Poverty like... Law Center is listening to this, but but actually we're all in it. I have... We're all on heat watch now. <laughs> we're all banned from Israel. You know what's funny it's is over. you know what's Shut funny down. is when I caught my original charge, I actually got put on hate watch, and I I just Did thought, you... I just thought that was funny. Um, I could actually go full hate watch, but this is not. Dude, did the ADL taking over the Trust and Safety Council um, happen while you were in jail, or? Um, you know, I... <laughs> literally the ADL. It's, it's funny because how... I uh, the, the the whole Twitter thing, and like I like I said, I, I don't know if everybody quite caught it. I I'm not fully. There was no internet where I was at, you know? uh, but there were mainstream articles, uh, Washington Post editorials. Uh, about Twitter trying to clean up their act and all this shit. Um, to me, it was it was just a joke. And there's no, I don't know. Either you're for free speech or you're not. If people are on your platform, I can understand if people are on your platform saying, "Hey, kill the Jews," or they're saying, "Hey, let's go start you know, a show," or "Let's go hang every black person." You know, obviously you can shut that down. <laughs> but other than that, other than explicit calls for violence, I'm fine with every, every time, whatever they want. Every so time you insult Muslims. That's what Muslims. I've always been about. Say what you want. You know, do what you want. Every, time, every violence, time you insult Muslims and annoy the SPLC, you, the, you go up else. in level with the ADL? Wow, one person at a time. <laughs> Children. Say what? Go ahead. My mic cut out. I couldn't hear what you no, I was just saying that, like, every time you insult the um, uh, wow. the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center by insulting Muslims, the, the ADL way, actually... I'm more. insulted. I will say that I'm insulted that I haven't seemed to be included in their list as much as, as uh, I should be. Smart. Well, you gotta try harder now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should try. Maybe we'll all be on the list now. after the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just gonna clip out what you just said, like hang, uh, hang people and kill the Jews and stuff, and post up there. And then <laughs> don't attack the men. They're just gonna take those clips. Man, just out of jail says X Y Z. Gamergate leader. Yeah, Gamergate and alt right leader. <laughs> don't expand still, that. Uh, you know still hates. 
<laughs> people laugh, but that's exactly how it fucking goes. Uh, Monday, Matt cried. Nora, please send me that link. I don't know of if I can. Of course, my love. Monday, Matt yeah, was apparently my... crying. Yeah. I don't know if it's because he found out that kid wasn't his or, or what <laughs> happened. But, uh... You know what? I will say this. The kid's really cute. Nah, fuck that. that. I mean, it's Ga- not gas, his. gas that fucker. That so sh- it's that- not his then. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker, that should have been exposed at birth. If you know anything about, uh, you know, Roman no. history, if you know anything He's about history. Roman history, they should have thrown that bitch out on the fucking Tarpeian rock and let him fucking choke Okay, that's, all right, all right. You heard it here first. Ra- <laughs> Ralph wants to genocide the Romans. Please, Monday, man. Jarbo Cut the Hutt. Jarbo. Jarbo the Hutt had a slug. There you go, sir. I put it in the fucking hangout chat. Well, oh. Malcolm from the north, who, by the way, but I, I put it in there too. If I if I fell behind on the super chat, I, I know super chat is the only way anybody can make money off YouTube. So uh, I apologize uh, if I fell behind. He also called me Rabbi Ralph, um, <laughs> <laughs> which I like. I might start using that. Um, what? What the fuck? Said- That's so fun. Uh, he said, I'm so afraid Ralph is going to show the whole hangout link and someone, <laughs> someone's going to hop in and play porn. That has actually <laughs> happened before. Well. And that was what? God damn. That was 20. 20- it's happened several times. 20- that was nearly three years ago. That was ago. almost three years ago. You know what? Yeah. Anybody who wants to chat can get in. I don't give a fuck. I'll give you the link. You don't have no, to. They- no, I don't the care. Hook. I'll give you the link. Yeah. Come on in. I don't care. I'll do what I want. I'm Ethan Ralph, and I'm an independent <laughs> black woman. <laughs> Giga Knight says, Giga Knight says, I missed this. LOL. Nora's reaction to that was a sign of how good it was. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was definitely fun. Uh, you know, when I was editor in chief, we didn't have these kinds of problems. No. No. You, you prudently didn't people, run any live streams. People knew either. their place when yeah, I was did, We didn't have these kind of viewers either. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Ralph, I'll tweet out the Hangout link and we can play chat roulette. Dude, I'm so <laughs> down. You, you just don't even know. Yeah, That's okay. When this Somebody uh, earlier. Get... Go ahead, Nora. Go ahead. When we get a community strike again, you, you're willing to wait six months I before we can stream I'll it? start a new channel. I can... Excuse me, my video got thirty five thousand views. Don't be trying to get this uh, this channel taken down. Thirty three thousand. Thirty five. Yeah, it's still I not. Checked. It's still. Did it beat my top video? I don't. I mean, your top video was just someone else's video playing. But... No, it was me okay. showing up to a psycho's fucking talk, and you don't know. Oh yeah. You. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I won't say the words that I want to say, but. Uh... Did you take this Female photo? impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, we won't go there. But uh, Ethan, the infant Holocaust, Ralph. Yeah, I like that. Ethan, I'll, <laughs> Ethan, I'll kill your kids, Ralph. Somebody also Ethan said. Ethan Auschwitz. <laughs> somebody also said, uh, get me on Andy Worski. Listen, I don't know that much about Andy, Andy Worski. Before I went to jail, I didn't know he was. I would somebody else. By the way, shout you out. People think you're high, but but you're not. This is no, you I'm sober. not. No, I'm sober, and uh, if I can't be high, by the way, I hate to break it to people, but I, I'm still on probation. So. Uh, I can't be high. I'm totally sober. Uh, shout out to Candace Owens, who uh, Owens? It's Owens, right? Like uh, Owens. Yes, it yeah, has Owens. Owens. She's amazing. Can, can you drink, by the way? I mean, I know you can um, drink, but, like, what's the deal with that? No. Okay. Actually, is that, actually... Is that, like, self-imposed? I, I won't or? get into the... to the uh, minutia there, but... Uh, no, I'll Fair say. enough. Okay. Fair enough. Ethan, the toddler... Toddler Terminator. <laughs> the toddler Terminator. I like that. Ethan... Ethan, I can... <laughs> Ethan sent the autist to Auschwitz Ralph. <laughs> oh my god! I like that. But anyway, I have to think. Is Andy Worski? I, I heard this whole internet. What is it? internet blood sport? Is that what somebody told me? Um, yeah, internet blood sport. Yeah, blood sport. That's pretty much the whole theme of my entire career. Blood sport. So, um, I'm totally down with that. I love that. I love that. I don't give a fuck. 
that's what we've been doing the whole time. That's the whole, that's the whole Ralph Sport. Ralph's bottom. going over, brother. Yeah, exactly. Blood Sport, good. I love it. I don't give a fuck. Like that was my whole thing. That's what pissed off some people. Gave me, oh god, how can... he's such bad PR. Oh Jesus, he's making us look bad. How could he do that? Triggering oh. a triggering uh, a female impersonator until oh. they accidentally drop their <laughs> voice changer. Oi, they how can you say that, Ralph? Oi, do you want to watch? Oh my do you want to watch? God. My... Are you dead? <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, how could you say that? Oh, oh my, oh. You sound like someone oh, who just saw a human shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh so Monday and Matt. Then. We were looking good. The media you was just. Monday and a... Matt. The media was just about to make us look good, and you shit all over the female person. It is Why are they it. Iranian? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like... They some... change ethnicity. Southern European. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know how close that okay. was, but uh, I was... Um, that was shite. Fuck. Okay. Okay. In there at the end there. Um, uh, uh, like I said, we usually have two screens here. I'm sorry that the screen... Wait, what part should he skip ahead to? Because, like, you don't want to listen to the... Hey, listen, every fucking piece of this is gold. So uh, yeah, but the first not. part is bullshit. You need to listen to every single second if if you don't want to do the super chat. By the way, I I'll be in... Um, on, on it. Um, <laughs> people just gave me money. That I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not trying to... Uh... To laugh that off. <laughs> That's really considerate, considering that uh, I will make zero money off anything I do on YouTube. Um, if you don't <laughs> give me money, I'll super chat. So, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. That, that's pretty much. I, I don't know if that's just me or is that everybody now? Um, that's everybody. Everyone, you do. Is that everybody? Unless you're a beauty guru that only talks about. Makeup and shit, then no, that's, that's it. what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, you, Ralph, makeup tips. By Listen, the way, you do that smoky up. cut crease, trust I have me. I no idea what that is. Just make sure your eyebrows are right, otherwise, <laughs> no, 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 jihad, you get your eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> the Revlon report. Oh. I'm trying to fix the screen now, so it's <clears throat> uh, that was a really bad Jew impression there, Ralph. Yeah, you know what? No, it just looks like a GSA's website. It, it's what's funny is people actually. I don't. I love Seinfeld. I love what he. <laughs> I he love Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. I love Larry David. I love Woody Allen. Um, uh, you know, fuck all hey, the rest of you. Adam Sandler. Yeah, not yeah, Adam, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, not Happy Gilmore. Someone, Someone save Jerry Seinfeld. He's our most valuable Jew. <laughs> he actually is. He's, hold I think up, he's the up. richest Jewish person show business. Let me say this. The Ralph report. Someone mentioned that. Ralph. Ralph. No. They said, Ralph, are you up on all the Ralph drama? And uh, the truth is, I'm up on a small amount of it, but I'm not up on the entire thing. I yeah, want... you, no, wait a minute. Artistic. Nora. Women are meant yeah. to be looked at, not heard. So, oh, so just, is that so? So just wait a minute. Damn. Well, just wait a minute. Uh, just wait a minute. Uh -huh. Just wait a okay, minute. Okay, I will. I will. I'll Look. wait. I want to know from a certain member in this chat whether they have a dick or whatever. Whatever their chosen gender. I want them to explain the crowd drama. Pardon? Because you cut out, so no one understood. Explain the crowd drama, fag. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Explain the crowd drama, someone. For people who might not know, explain. I have no idea. I was around when it was happening. Uh, an entire fucking autism storm okay. resulting. Okay, hey, Darker, by the way, oh. let me give this. I don't know if people can hear that. But Pave Darker is a fucking champion, and I want to give a shout out to um uh, I won't say her actual name, uh, uh Stephen Misanthrope, uh who is a great lady, and who I actually 
for a while. I was uh, under the weather, so to speak. And uh, a, di a direct result of that, our direct was what caused that was uh, Pave Darker's trepid reporting uh, work and all that uh, that had to do with uh, USC Berkeley and Ian, Ian Dad, Dad Miller got away with <laughs> just insane criminal acts and uh, he didn't do a day, day of jail time. So please, Pave Darker, explain to us. Crowd decided to create a server with which he would create. He would bring together supposed scientific minds, but there wasn't really that many people on there that would fall into that category. Okay. The idea was he was going to debunk everything done by the um, alt right and what have you, and the race realists on YouTube. The <sighs> it, it was just fucking ridiculousness, and the power of having a personal army as he viewed it kind of seemed to go to his head and uh, there was various bits and pieces of supposed doxing of coach red pill but his information was very very publicly so, out there let me ask made you, a lot let me ask you something. yeah first off let me ask you can you hear me well, I, I can I can hear you fine yeah. okay so some of the chat is complaining about Mike, listen, dude. I, I'm just gonna tell you guys. Uh, I, I should have waited a day or two before I did that. I, I am fresh off the fucking boat with with this fucking shit. So I'm trying to don't. If if the audio's off, uh, see if you can get your input louder. Is what someone said. Uh, not OBS. Does that make you a DACA dreamer now? Yes, I, I'm officially a dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> there is no doubt that I'm officially a dreamer right now. Um, and, and that made me forget what I was going to say. Um, but what actually what I was going to say was I, I don't understand creating fake enemies. You know what I mean? I, I guess I've just had so many people who have hated me for so long I've never really had to um, – Oh, let's create so and so, uh, and you've never had to manage. No, I never, I've man. never had to do that. Oh, by the oh, way, shit. I turn, I turn my thing up. Hopefully that helps. I don't know. Drama is the key component of growing your social media following. That's why people. You yeah, know, now listen. Pete is one hundred percent right. One hundred percent right. Now let me. Coach Red ridden this yeah. for fucking publicity like nobody's business. Everyone wait, wait, wait. Who is you ridden? Know. Wait, wait. Repeat that. Who is ridden? Uh, Coach Red Pill, the guy that, that oh, yeah. got, well, he kind of got he... allusions to his name dropped by Holiday. Um, and supposedly Kraut had his full docs. Um, Kraut supposedly tried to manipulate Sargon, who then made a half hour video talking about how coach red pill was a con artist um and uh yeah it's just caused this complete fucking tism storm Did and in the start on doxum then in that video oh, wow. okay uh, yes yeah arms link hold on hold on I'm, wait bombs link wait one second whoa some people are saying this sounds good and other people are saying that i have actually caused the eardrums to bleed yeah, no, you were really loud when you f first switched it, and then you're better now. Like you, that's why everyone is it, you blew out their eardrums. Is it okay now? I, listen. Yeah, I, it's okay now. You know, yeah. I've had problems with the with the audio in the past, but listen, I hope people... It sounds fine. I would it just, sounds good now. Okay, I would just hope people cut me some slack tonight, because, I, you know... Uh, anyway, the is behind a couple seconds too, so okay. you're a free man, Ralph. I, I, you're a free man. Okay, exactly. I'm free and I've been in jail. I would just hope people come and play. Okay, no. Okay, no. I'll, listen. Jagger said that hurt. Listen, I'm completely sorry that I hurt your ears. Okay. Why did you say it so oh, sexually? Ralph, oh, listen, 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 <laughs> listen to me right now. I will, oh, stop, Ralph. Listen, I will make it up to you, okay? For, forgive me for hurting your jumps, okay? I apologize. Like, okay? Nora, Doris, please. Nora, say I'm button. sorry. Listen. No. Listen. You're listening to NPR Radio. <laughs> listen. Listen. I'm sorry I was too loud, okay? I apologize. No, we're listening. We're listening. Okay. 
Okay. We just want you to stop, though. This is AS, listen, ASMR listen, right here. This listen. is becoming really uncomfortable, <laughs> Listen, I apologize, okay? Thank you. Do you? Okay, thank you. Um, okay. It's just what <laughs> Chris Beck said. It's just words that we're gonna cut it off. That's the only thing. It's the better no, yeah. Just just the words. It's just the main currency of your communication that's getting cutting off. But uh no no need to worry about anything else. Yeah, okay, thanks. Well uh, uh, stop Who the fuck's <laughs> Jack <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Was that Shep? So what <laughs> yeah. Um and he had his he had his pink thing out. What what was going on? Oh. So, what were we just talking about? We were, we're talking, talking about Starcraft. Oh, Crap. by the way, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nora told me about this, and I don't understand sitting around and you know, like inventing enemies. And and like I said earlier, I don't want to go at crowd or whatever. I don't give a f honestly fuck fuck it. I don't care. I really don't care. I honestly, don't. You oh know. No, no, you haven't heard the best bit yet. Go he ahead. found some of his old social media profiles. Oh yeah, he's guess what? What is he like? What is he like? Uh, he doesn't seem to have a problem with his girlfriend fucking other people. Oh, is that right? Uh, that seems to be a common theme, doesn't it? They also electrified nipple clamps that uh, he <laughs> used. Um, Rhymes with yeah, luck. It... <laughs> And duck. Pave, Pave, let me ask you something. What do you think about uh, collaborating with me on a video about his proclivities? What do you think about that? <laughs> I think we could work something out. <laughs> Good. That's what I was thinking too. Because you, you, you uh, do your, your sexy uh, radio announcer voice. I was. Hey. I was. Okay. Up, hey, hey. Hey, Pave has been hey, practicing. Hey, it hey too, listen. Sexy hey. Voice. Hey Ian. Hey Ian. Hey Ian, be quiet please. I was hoping we could work something out. I'm glad we can. Thank you. Electrified. But but all I'm saying is, okay, to get away from my, you know, whatever voice. Uh I know, I've never had to sit here and invent enemies. Guess what? People hate me just because. I don't know. It's it's funny that I never really had to Oh God. I, just I don't have enough Going enemies. Going to war with the alt right. That's what he wanted to do. It wasn't like inventing enemies. He's just like, I'm just. Yeah, you know what? He always got on that shit. He and... got on a tizzy about race realism and how this one chick made a video saying that she believed in it, and he just lost his shit, and then just started making videos about it, and then went super autistic. He tried to report her to what he thought was her employer. Yeah, she uh... got her fired from like a a writing gig. An unpaid I'm considering, game. like, I mean, when I when I was first sort of like breaking, into, uh, getting into Twitter and follow, starting to follow people on YouTube, Kraut was one of the people that I followed because he was such a, uh, a proponent of free speech, and he was completely against censorship. So to turn around and basically get somebody fired from their writing gig because they said something he didn't like. Um, it was just such a complete one. Now, and everything. Uh, let me, yeah, let me, didn't, wait, wait, wait. Crack took over from Sargon's stream at one point, and when yes, I was he did like, listening to Sargon, yes. yeah. Yeah, he did. I mean, at least when I was out, I know he did guest, you know, whatever, fill in for Sargon, you know. I mean, that happened when I was out. If, if people want to, you know, argue, yeah, he definitely did. Uh, quiet. But but let me ask let me ask what well, now that I've cut in and totally broke the flow of conversation. Um let let me ask you something, Pave. Pave by the way, Pave Darker is one of the people I really uh probably way, I respect a lot of people, but especially him. Um uh, I I've taken some things off my site. You know, it's different when you're I guess when you're trying to make money. Just to be flat out honest with you, trying to make money, trying to make a living off some things like, um, oh, okay, you know, Seattle decided to kill his dad. Well, I gotta take his, his shit off my site. I gotta take his shit off my YouTube channel. Um, so and so decided to do this. Well, that's not a good look. You're well, talking I'm, about, you're talking about murder versus somebody's talking about. No, their but I'm just understand. I, no, I'm oh. not. I'm just being devil's advocate. I mean, obviously, I think 
that I'm right because I did it. You know, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't think that was the right move. But w what is the limit of free speech versus, oh, this is interfering with, with my operation. This is interfering with, with my brand or this is interfering with what what I want to have going on. You know what I mean? But it would be like the Patriots still selling Aaron Hernandez jerseys. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, listen, I'm playing devil's advocate because obviously I've come down on one side because I took all this shit down. But I, I'm just, I'm just asking, you know, what is the limit? Is it 100% free speech? Which I, I tend to try to go towards, but, you know, when something extraordinary happens, you know, I take the shit down. Yeah. Well, in the, in the state call sense. To call to action. That That's the limit. If you want to turn around and say, right, let's start go, uh, let's go out and start lynching black people. Well, and you I'll... try and, go ahead. You, you try and round the posse to do it. Then, yeah, that, that is, there is a limit there. You know, you, you, you have to stop imminent violence, that kind of thing. You have to stop actual death threats. Um, that, that, that shouldn't be acceptable. But, I mean, you know, having an opinion that somebody else doesn't like, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, doesn't fucking matter. You should be free to express it. Because otherwise you end up where Europe is now and things are starting to get a little bit bleak in terms of what's happening. Um, I mean, the whole cow Ankiel thing has been an absolute farce. Um, and it's, it's getting quite Orwellian now. And I'll, really I'll just say this. Kind of a canary in the coal mine as far as the UK is concerned. I'll just say this, that I agree with you completely. But, you know, there are some people who say, oh, Ralph, you took, you took these articles down. You took this and that down. How could you be for free speech? That's um, not free speech. Yeah, yeah now yeah. you don't want to make ad revenue off of someone that committed patricide. That's well, just... yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> that that's the whole crux of the of the, between... of the of the argument. But that, it has a big difference between saying something and you know killing somebody. Yeah, and well, I've always been. Oh. That you could do that. You could you could keep all those on, on, and you would be allowed to do it. I mean, that's, yeah, of course, if I wanted you know, to, I would do it. it. You're, yeah. yeah, you're making a choice between. Um, what is freedom of speech and what is commercially viable. Um, otherwise, Netflix would like stream live murders. I agree. Somebody said, damn, awesome. Ralph, first thing you need to do is get a new mic or something. This whole thing's been fucked with sporadic in and out audio. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't disagree with you because I almost didn't even do the stream. Uh, it's just... I, I had promoted it. It seems yeah. fine, yeah. Yeah, I, I I hope it's okay. It might be in and out. I don't have the two hundred dollar mic that, that I bought before I went to fucking jail. Uh, but I will have it uh, within a week or so. I'll have it back. And uh, so I apologize if anyone's ears were interrupted with this with this stream. So. Someone said, "Oh shit, Ralph's out." Great. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck you! How about that? Does that work? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what about uh, people? This is the third comment I've seen about fucking goddamn fleet com. Has anyone here played an updated version of fleet com? I don't know. No. <laughs> Nobody's heard jack shit. Nobody's heard jack shit about fleet com because it's laid. We, screwed we, all play, those people. we play video games, not fucking like beta demos. Yeah, um, Fleetcom. I, I will say this. Oh, Fleetcom. If anybody can hear me, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we can hear you. Fleetcom is one of the things I'm genuinely like apologetic about because I actually helped promote that fucking polished shit. And it makes me sick that, that I had a hand in that because, you know, me, I've always been honest about what I do. I I write articles about culture. I write articles about, you know, Gamergate. I write articles about, you know, whatever I want to write about. But I, I, I don't really, you know, I do plan on the future of writing books and writing stuff that you can buy, whatever. But you can either click on my site or you can not. I mean... If you don't want to support me, don't click on the fucking link. Don't don't click the ads. Don't don't do this. 
So, I I do feel bad that that I help promote a fucking shyster, like fucking Slave Elena, or, or whatever his fucking name is. I don't even know to be honest. What is he that going? Awkward, yeah, that oh. awkward moment when freaking Brianna Wu releases a game before Slave. It does. <laughs> no, Brianna Wu is is fucking you know Miyamoto compared to fucking Belina. I I'm just being honest here. But it's the again the not having the ability to tell the future, like you didn't know. Well, like you know, it, it's not just that you get caught up into my team versus your team. I mean that that's what it is. It's like oh well, my guy's doing this and your guy's doing that, and it, it's just my team versus your team. It's not the Dude, more we've got to get Flint into Congress. It'll 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 be brilliant. It will be the biggest shit show in history. Someone, John Flint. Stood- someone said, I don't know if this is true, of course, but they just said <laughs> they just said Boogie just passed away. I don't. I, I oh don't. yeah, Rip Boogie. <laughs> R.I.P. Boogie. What left? By Wait, the way, he was Fidel Castro's son. By the way, I, I'm just gonna be. You know what? Because I don't give a fuck. I'm Which just, is half of Boogie's. I'm gone. just gonna be honest. Boogie is is a fucking fraudulent piece of shit. I'm just gonna be honest. He's he's a piece of shit. whatever. He, he's... Yo, did you know he divorced his wife recently? Uh, yeah, probably because she was. <laughs> he divorced. Probably because she was <laughs> fucking. <laughs> she was fucking everybody on the block. Yeah, I can understand why he would do that. Why are we making her into the whore? That poor woman divor- suffered. He divorced <laughs> her. Yeah, yeah. Really? Okay, how I'm sorry. No, it was a, it was a mutual decision after Tyrone had a say. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tyrone. My name is Tyrone. I'm here to fuck somebody's wife. Long dick style. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he had a lot of say in that. Here's a pack of magic boosters. Be gone. Buggy yeah, got... but I love how he admitted that he was the root of the issue. Wait, 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 wait. Nora yes, Ethan? What did he say was the root? That his uh, anxiety wait, what? made him. His, his what? anxiety. His wait. His what? Him... Wait, wait, wait. His what? Fuck you. Wait, wait. What? His what? No, understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, tell me. Tell me what you're trying to say. Oh my god. His... <laughs> what was? What Are was? You drunk? <laughs> what was coming up lacking? That's what. I'm... You know what? I don't feel comfortable with the turn that this has taken. <laughs> I was just here doing it. Yeah, but... I suppose the bowel uh, control was like. There, there goes the Fifi again. <laughs> 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 what came up lacking is what, I'm, what I was trying to get a hold of. Well, not literally. <laughs> not literally get a hold of, but. <laughs> you would have to find it. <laughs> Try the problem. Search to yeah. destroy it, yes. Uh, here goes Goth King. This is the perfect description. Is of, that Fox News in the background? I don't, I, I don't know, but Goth King has the perfect description of the book. He says, he was always the first dude to cuck and throw everyone under the bus to suck up to SJWs who hate him and treat him like shit. And yes, that is the exact perfect description of Boogie. Whatever. I don't know. Big is big is the ultimate fence sitter. What is his number? Fucking picks aside. Two nine eight eight. Whatever his fucking number is. Yeah, that's his number. Yeah. Two. I always thought he was an SJW himself, mostly. Biggie one four eight (laughs) eight. The number after his name is how many black dudes his wife is. That's not true. It's not going up in a week. Oh my god. He's gay. It's like the it's like the US debt clock in New York City. It just keeps going and going and <laughs> <laughs> It never stops. Billions and billions served. But you know, congratulations to Boogie on getting that surgery to get a vagina plasty. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait congratulations. Wait, 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 wait. What what surgery? Oh, he had the gastric out. sleeve. No, he surgery. no he did. No he didn't. Yeah, okay, okay. Somebody send me a link of Buggy, current Buggy, in the chat. In the I mean, we don't want to yeah. depress you. It's your first day out. No, wait a minute. I, you know, do I you don't, really want to see the I don't want to brag, but I was a fat fuck. And you know what? I'm still a little you know, fat, to be honest with you, but I lost 100 pounds. 
So I want to. Someone see... said Boogie has made a Fifi from his own body fat. Somebody possible. Show me a pic of Boogie. It's, that... in, the, it's in the. It's in the. Oh yeah. my god! It's in the hangout. Oh. Vigo's got that shit on fucking. Also, we want to watch the Monday Map video where he cries. He has like twelve nipples. (laughs) Who, Monday Matt or Boogie? Uh, Uh, Either one cries. Either or. (laughs) Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, look at Vigo. Vigo ain't saying shit, but but he wants to send. Vigo ain't saying shit, but he wants to send a link. Okay, all right, I see how it is. All right. He doesn't want to. Oh my god! <laughs> hey. Uh, it's that like... is um. Uh, I I don't know. There you go. Hey, listen. Hey, man. I, listen. I can't. Mm-hmm. What can I say and say? Because I lost a lot of weight. Not that much. Damn. Motherfucker. <laughs> is this even real? Is this real life? I I don't know. What could be yeah. said? <laughs> is, did this really happen? Wow. I, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, Star Wars character. Hey, he listen. Almost walk on his own. Almost. If that if that how, really happened, many, I gotta get. How many started. nipples does he got on his left tip? <laughs> I don't know if that if that really happened. Congrats. Uh, I'm not. Gonna... Yeah. I'm... Well done for making a positive change in your life. Wow. There goes the. Wow. That... Uh, Public service now. Yeah, the oh. Ralph retort has always been about positive body image. Yeah, why is his, positive. Why is his nipple there? <laughs> <laughs> why are you staring no. at it for a still? You're supposed That's... to look at it and get away. You're not supposed to see it. Also, his also his pants look stained with something. <laughs> no, <laughs> you have a magnifying glass or something. Are you like zooming in? Enhance. <laughs> Spencer says I Boogie know. has huge Kazar milkers. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said, this is Dark Vulgar, by the way. Who, uh, is somebody that I know, but I forgot. Looks like Boogie went on the AIDS diet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it does, it does. Struggle. He went to Uganda and got Ebola because he knows the way. Vanilla ice cream cone in the summer heat. He's like if Jabba the Hutt had lipo. <laughs> Chris, Chris Deck is right. He's gonna have to have that surgery for the skin. Okay. Like, let's let's. He someone... can make a like someone said. He can make a fifi out of the skin. Or he can glide. He can well... the building and use it as gliders. <laughs> let, let, uh, a boogie I... glider. <laughs> someone that me and Ralph know, but um, what? we actually played huh? PS4 with him sometime. What? Huh? Your name? So Who? someone we what? both know. Huh? <laughs> you know what? You got some sort of attitude. Wait, huh? I know Wait. all your Wait. passwords. Huh? I can change Who is that? Them. Wait, huh? Who is that? Oh, uh, no. I know who you're talking about. Derek, go ahead. <laughs> no, go kill yourself. <laughs> no, I know. Go ahead, please. Please. No, I'm done. Thank you, though. Hey. Hey, Thank baby. you for the opportunity, hey. but I declined. Hey. Hey, no, hey, don't hey, hate me. Hey, don't fucking hate me. Hey. I ain't your baby. Who the fuck you hate? Hey, hey. Please. Just go <laughs> ahead. Just go ahead. Please. Come on. Come on. Please. Nah, I don't, I don't please. know you. Sorry. Tell us. Hey, nah, come on. Nah, stop talking to me. I'm married. Sorry. Please. Please, come on. No. Oh, uh, Ralph, no. Bo told me to tell please, you that on. you're a good boy and you didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Nothing. That's cute. All right. That's cute. All right. Nothing. Come on. Tell us. Please. No, I was just gonna point out that he actually lost the weight himself going to the gym. Like he was over five hundred pounds. Hey, mother! Guess who lost the weight how'd... himself? Me. That's who did himself. How do you, how do you not lose the weight yourself? Yeah, you lose it yourself. And guess what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you like you I... like tell the story, Nora. Tell the no, story. No, no, you it know, I just think it's convenient if you left my fucking comment out. Anthony. I... And, and, and that you wanted to talk about somebody else, but yeah. You know, I was about because you lost. You lose the weight yourself. You lose the weight yourself, oh but you don't Ethan lose the. You're such work. a child. You don't. Ethan you don't lose the. Hard work. The Boogie excess did it skin surgery. yourself. You don't lose this and that yourself. So, um, it, it still takes some, some work. So yeah, go ahead. But that's it. I s- fuck didn't know that. He can make a new wife out of the skin, says Anthony. 
Oh, oh god. And guess what? She'll be white. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Andy has spare nipples. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think they're just giant moles. Someone said, <laughs> I heard, someone said, I heard getting your ass pounded sheds weight. I, I, you know what? Maybe it does. I'm not sure. But... I don't know. Nora? Oh, you know what... God. <laughs> I think <laughs> Boogie's nipples are just those snowballs that just got stuck to his chest, the pink oh, ones. Uh, Why do we keep talking about his ugly nipples? I don't know. <laughs> Imagine trying to pierce those. You need like a fucking Why uh, railroad are you spike. That? What's <laughs> your fucking fetish, mate? You need a masonry drill. <laughs> so speaking about strange fetishes, how about what's going on in Magic the Gathering right now? Oh, pedophiles? <laughs> how did you jump from this? Anything is better than talking about boogie nipples. That's no, it. Wait, that's wait a minute. Wait a minute. Too much Monday Matt cry. That's wait, that is a beautiful, wait, that's wait. That's a beautiful segue, given we were talking about boogie. Wait one minute. Yeah, anything is better. Gator, tell us. Tell us. Go on. All right, so this whole story begins with uh, the quartering Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. So he had a bit of a feud with this this magic ethot named Christine Sprankle. Ultimately, what have you had a video that criticized her for soliciting donations for bullshit causes, basically just to help herself. And she cried about how this guy was trying to chase her out of the community and got the, got basically wizards of the coast, the company that owns magic, the gathering to ban him from the game, from actually playing the game and showing up, at stores that sell magic products. And it was, it was just this ridiculous shit show of, of all these YouTube Magic the Gathering guys trying yeah. to defend Milady and trying to say Christine Sprankle is the one that put Magic the Gathering on top and she's the one that made it part of the mainstream, which was is, is absolute bullshit. And so they banned him from playing Magic the Gathering and suspended his DCI number and all that stuff. So he goes and starts talking about uh, all the all this bullshit and trying to clear the air. And one thing that he notices is that there's a lot of questionable people to show up at these events. So uh, I, I wish I could remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, I, I was referring to him by his channel name, The Quartering. He exposed the fact that a lot of the judges at these magic events are fucking pedos. And so, he, and so he went to Wizards of the Coast and said, hey, look, these guys should not be here. You guys need to do better background checks. And they said, well, we don't know what you're talking about. You know, it, well, I should probably be more specific. It was Channel Fireball who, because Wizards of the Coast contracts out to other companies to host their events because they can't host, you know, like 1488 different events all over the country. So he, he contracts out to these guys and he tells, they contract out these guys and, and they basically told the quartering, they were just basically told him to fuck off and tried to act like nothing was going on. But with a, a lot of pressure and a lot of pushing, they finally admitted, okay, yeah, so we do have a problem and we need to do background checks. Yeah, but is it any surprise that someone judging a Magic the Gathering tournament is a pedo? Not even, um, not even a little bit surprising. <laughs> you say that, but like, I was into Magic I don't know, like 15, 20 years ago. When it when it came out. And when you were was... 50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so brutal. Damn. Fucking hell. Burn. Um, but it was very kind of underground, and we used, just used to kind of play it around each other's houses and stuff. And then as soon as social justice started getting into board games, and they started organizing these kind of official Wizards of the Coast tournaments and stuff. That's when it started getting political. So I'm not surprised because as soon as like, uh, as soon as politics started taking over the board gaming community and they kind of all moved in and had these whole kind of like uh, 
uh, uh, board game nights for women, all this kind of stuff. That's when it really, really took off. So I think a lot of the uh, male feminist allies kind of smelt the blood in the water, as it were. Board game nights for women, where they're not good enough to play against the men, or like. Well, no, that's what they do now. Like in the town where I work, they have like a, um, they hire out a pub uh, once a week and they have a board game night for just women only. Yeah, these these card shops that sell Magic the Gathering products also sell stuff like D and D, and they'll sell different kinds of board games and card games. And one of the big promotions they always do is they try to bring in women because if they don't come up with promotions to bring in women the only clientele they're going to have are these big fat smelly guys who's at who's like assholes are exposed to the air because they can't wear fucking pants that fit them and so they this do these is like, why i don't go there anymore this yeah you don't want to show everybody reference. an asshole clear away from boogie references <laughs> uh christopher tex says since the aaron brotherhood always gave you second a of the washington post any comments on the release of the candle Actually, um, I I haven't read the memo. I really I can summarize it pretty quick. Okay, go ahead. The FBI, using the Christopher Steele dossier, went to the secret FISA courts and basically said, this is proof that something is going on with the Trump campaign and we need to investigate. They didn't mention the fact that Christopher Steele was the origin of the dossier. They didn't mention the fact that it was all bullshit. They didn't mention the fact that it was a copy pasta stolen from 4chan poll. Ah. They didn't mention they didn't mention anything regarding its origins, accu- anything regarding oh, that. So they, so they basically went into a intelligence committee court and said, "We have this information." And the court said, "Okay, well, we're going to give you the warrant to investigate it." <clears throat> completely on false pretenses, completely without any evidence whatsoever. What's the name of the guy they were investigating? Like, it's not Chris Carter because he was X Files. What's the name? Steel. Christopher Steele. Oh, no. Carter, Carter Page. That's the Carter Page. Oh, yeah. you mean the Trump? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, Spencer, the piss dossier. That's what they used yeah. as their evidence. A fucking 4chan piss dossier from Rick Wilson. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Rick Wilson. So, so they so they basically um, approached the intelligence service and said, "We have this thing that we think is really, really important. So we want you to spy on a U.S. citizen, and here's the document." And that was all covered up, and the document yeah, was bullshit. The FBI paid for, paid Steele for the work on it. They terminated in, in October. Now, so. let me ask you this: to be double back. Um. There was a, you know, the actual memo, whatever, the thing that tells you far secret by um, public staff house. Do you think that it was fair to not release, as of now, they have the Democrat uh, response? Do you think it's fair to release the Republican response and not release the Democrat response? Well, the reason they did that is because the Democrats literally well, you did know. one what, last week after they were trying to release this one, and then they slow balled re- releasing this one for like what two weeks. Yeah, I'm not going back and with forth. You. I'm just saying. Um, it, it, eventually, wanna... that one will come out too. Yeah, uh, actually, and, and actually pretty, heard. You know. I didn't hear it personally, but uh, I read reports that oh, we're eventually going to release the, Dem- the Democrat response too. So. Yeah, but it has to go through the same process. It has yeah, to get voted yeah. on. It has to go to the White House, and same thing. But I mean, Adam Schiff is already releasing parts of it. Yeah. So it's going to be released. To the, I, I guarantee you Monday, Washington Post is going to have a fucking article on it. Me personally, I would say just release it all. But uh, yeah, no, you need the FISA records. Every there's a bunch of stuff. But the bigger issue is that the, the DOJ official, uh, Bruce Orr, his wife worked for Fusion GPS, and which she is the company giving, behind it. Right. She was yep. giving him the info, and he went back and talked to Steele. So there's a big there's big issues with this whole entire thing. So there were a lot of disclosures that weren't made that should have been made public about yeah. connections between DOJ officials and FBI officials and their connections with Fusion GPS and the Hillary campaign yeah, and guy, what was going on behind the scenes. The, the guy that constructed the document was very close to people who wanted to read the document. Yeah. 
Alright, uh, people in the chat saying, Ralph, are you cutting out? I don't know if you're cutting out or not. I think you're just, I think you're lagging a little bit, that's the problem. Yeah, it, it's possible. And your computer is so, like, it's definitely possible because, yeah, I was about to say, it hasn't been turned on in eight months. <laughs> it's so like, what is being on, my like, my computer, oh, the, the, the red light on the processor is just completely lit. It's 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 not stopping at all. So, so I don't know what to say. Um, I will say that I've had a lot of fun on this stream. Uh, I am about to wrap it up because uh, I, I got I got I got, got a There's a second memo coming out. Yeah, by the way. Yeah, not only that, but you know. I no, had, from from the Republicans. There's a second memo. It, uh, I don't doubt that. Is, I'm just saying, I had said it about the two hours of sleep. I don't give a fuck what they're putting out. I had two hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that, that's, all, that's all I'm getting at. All right. What's uh, the real re reason you want to end the stream? Because someone wants to play NBA 2K. <laughs> well, maybe. But, uh, all right, all right. She's got to watch. She's got to watch some. Uh, Are there wrestling. any final, you know, concise comments that, that we want to. The guy hasn't played a video game in eight months. He needs to fucking yes. chill out with First off, yes, I was the best joystick. editor was in chief the Ralph Couture ever had. First off, I want to say thank you to all the people who, who um, you know, super chatted me and everything. And this is just the, you know, listen, this is my first night back. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, if not, I don't know. I'll try to do better next time. This is just, uh, you know, this is me back. I appreciate everybody. The 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 comments that I got on Twitter, you know, some of them were fucked up, like Twitter. Um, but uh, I I really appreciate being back. I really appreciate the response I've gotten, especially since I've been gone for eight months. And uh, I think a lot of that is due to the to the effort that my my uh, co-pilot uh, Nora here put in deep. Keep the flame alive, and so uh, I just want to thank everybody that uh, stuck with me. And uh, also, I've retweeted, you know, a couple things. I I don't want to, I don't want to act like I don't think I deserved what happened to me. But I don't want to sit here and say, you know, oh, you know, oh God, this is a total injustice, and you know, God is this pathetic and everybody else is a piece of shit and how could this have happened? This and that. You know, I accept what happened. I accept the the punishment. And, you know, I'm back. I'm ready to to go to work. I'm I'm doing that now. So um I I uh served my uh, my time to society or whatever, my penalty. So um Can I just quickly Yes, ask, yes, like, so yes, what... you may, sir, please. <laughs> so what, what is the plan now? Are you just going to carry on with the... Uh, I mean, there is the no thing? there is no massive plan. The, the plan is to just com just carry on with the com and to uh, write as much as possible and to... There is okay. one wrinkle to the plan and it is to publish a book. And we will see if that happens. That is my cool. that is my intention. Um, I do have a Patreon to uh, get get completely into, you know, Israeli shill level. Um, <laughs> I do I do have. Wait, they send all your shekels. Oi, vey, pimp your Patreon, fucker. Yeah, that that's the thing. Um, but yeah, I have that, and uh, I do plan on putting out a book, and I hope hopefully people buy it. If not, I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna write it, so. Um, and hey, if you start writing it now, it'll come out before Zoe Quinn's book. Oh God, <laughs> Zoe Quinn. We, we. No, don't go. There. Don't go there. We won't go there. <laughs> we won't go there tonight. But I appreciate everybody listening. And uh, if if anybody has any, somebody mentioned the Gamergate book, um, I don't want to call it Gamergate because that's not really. It's mostly about me being in jail honest but I, I do plan on um you know weaving in uh other aspects of my online online but i mean what online what, experience you're gonna go to bed tonight and what are your plans in the morning what what are you gonna do on your first my plan in the day? morning is just to get up and do do like i did before i mean okay, there, there cool. is no other than you know actually work on the book there is no other i mean there is no special plan than, than to just cool. do what i did 
if you like maybe it, you're making it yeah if you like it i'm glad if you don't i'm sorry because maybe make an appearance on the morning kumite <laughs> yes i i'm dude i don't know but that's you know i'm it's funny, you know, they talk about... What? You don't like drama in the morning? I love it. I love it. I love drama. I love blood. Let him get back internet, into the Internet. Internet blood. Internet blood sport. Oh, you know what? He got good. like 10 hours ago. Give him some time. Let him, <laughs> let him yeah. have some fun. Jeez. That all makes you sense. You get a pizza. You have to, um, you have to do the uh, book on Audible, like an audio book. Re read by yes, me reading it. I, I would like that. I'm yeah, not very good at reading it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm down for whatever. I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying, there's no special plan. Just me um, writing about what I've been through. And not, you know, oh god, hey, you've been through this, and what a poor soul. No, just, I don't know. I, I feel like it's... It introduces to the fabulous friends you made in uh, in jail. The the characters. Yeah, just the characters and the people. I mean, I don't mean yeah. that as a joke. I mean, there, there, there ah. are... Um, you would be surprised, uh, the people who who were in jail. So, um, yeah. No, I remember you saying before, like when you were in there, you were like, "These guys are like fucking awesome," and you like made friends and stuff. And you said, "I'll tell you about them one day." So maybe yeah, this is the time. it's not like oh, I don't know. I've talked about this with 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 uh, others before, and people tend to think of oh, this this is a different part of life. This is a different. This could never be me. I can, and you know what? Most likely, it never will be you. Hopefully, you know, pray to your God or whatever. It will <laughs> never be. You. Um, but it it can happen. It does happen. It it doesn't. Uh, and you know, I'm speaking for myself too. It doesn't make you less than. I, like I, I don't know. I talked about the stream, but I talked about it before stream. There was two until. It is worth a million dollars. Go. No, it 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 just takes a mistake. Yeah. It just takes a bad night. It just One fuck up, just a bad bad turn on the path. Yeah, it happened. And well, it wasn't um, one fuck up for this guy. I mean, <laughs> come well, on. it was one night of fuck up. It wasn't one fuck. <laughs> up. It was multiple fuck up. All I'm saying is, it's not. Um, yeah, but you could say you could say that that one. Night of fuck up started with the one decision Look, to go out for that I, night. I, I would just say this: I don't feel like I deserve the punishment I got. Um, but when I look back at the things I did get away with, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I I can't sit here and necessarily complain. Uh, but I I I don't know. It it, it just people don't really. And I'm not trying to preach or whatever. Oh, Ralph, of course you were in jail. You're trying to suck up dogs you were in jail. And that's not that. It's just, it can happen to you. I mean, just. No, because I'm perfect. So. Other than. <laughs> but uh, everybody else. Oh. Everybody else. It, I'm just saying. It can happen. Uh, I feel like the experience. Um, I tried to take what I went through and turn it into a positive and uh and it's not just oh while you're in there turn it into a positive it's while you're out like make this thing something that changed your life make this thing something that made you better and make this thing something that uh, makes you think about uh things that you would normally just go through have a opinion about or have a uh, stance about and, and just not think about it. You know what I mean? I, I feel like... You, Go ahead. Do you think that, like, um, this kind of new... Oh, I don't know, new, but this, like, fresh outlook um, is a result of you being in jail or the people that you were in jail with? Or is it both? Or I will say... Um, probably both. Because... Uh... Because well, obviously being being in there, and I, I will the, say this: you, I, lost, and, and and I don't want to turn in well. just you know a fat ass stream because um I sorry, lost. Sorry. I just wanted to know. No, but no, I agree. I, I mean, I'm I'm just saying I lost ninety four pounds when I went to jail. One of my main goals was to lose weight. So I was a fat fuck. I mean, that, that was oh I want to lose weight when I go to jail. I did even better. 
thought I would ever do. Um, I didn't, I didn't, uh, necessarily produce in terms of, uh, you know, my job is to write, my job is to put out things that people will like, my job is to sit on here and talk shit people might enjoy. Uh, I didn't do that as much as focus on myself personally, focus on mm -hmm. the things that, that I might, uh, get more upset about than, than, than what's warranted to, to understand, you know, flaws in my own character that I might not have understood had I not had the, um, penalty. And, yeah. Even, even though I didn't think the penalty was completely just, I knew that I put myself in the spot, and I knew that I could, you know, sit there and blame somebody else for the spot I was in. I did that to yeah. myself, and even though I didn't think it was completely fair, I did that. I did it to myself. So, um, I don't, I don't want to sit here and like I, I don't know if I said this earlier. I believe I did. Um, I don't want to retweet. Stuff that people don't necessarily understand. You know, I did. You know, I don't want to sit here and minimize. I didn't. You know, nobody was hurt. Um, no property damage was done. It was basically just resistance arrest, whatever. I don't want to sit here and. Um, but even so, I don't want to sit here and minimize everything. You know, I fucked up, and uh, I paid my time, and I'm ready to get back. So I do. Uh, and you know, most people. You know, I've gotten an overwhelming or whatever. It's just it really is almost overwhelming, especially after jail for all that time with you no, know, you know, very little feedback. It is almost overwhelming to experience it yeah. when you get out. I guess you have like the people that you talk to all day, every day, and outside world is just kind of like. I, did you do you wonder what's going on or I, I, outside? Well, of, I wasn't I guess totally you in the dark. Like you know, I had the news, I had the radio, I had yeah. you know, watch yeah. the post, I had I had Nora here telling me what was going on. But even sure. so, it, there's nothing like being in it. There's nothing like getting your Twitter pinged every fucking five seconds. There's, <laughs> exactly, it, that's what I mean. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's hard to explain. I mean, at a certain point earlier today, I just said okay. I have to set my phone down. You know, I can't. It's 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 almost too much. Okay. Yeah, it is. Just, just sit it down, and I'm not gonna say it's not about oh crying or oh god he can't take it or anything like that. But at a certain point, set the phone down. Yeah, you can go back I am. Um, reply what you can. I mean, it's nowhere near the same. But um, I injured my knee <laughs> recently and yeah. basically didn't go on Twitter for two weeks and for the first couple of days I was like oh I wonder what I'm missing but like after a week or so I was like well I'll get back to it because you know what when you get back to it it's exactly the fucking same just different stories yeah at a certain point <laughs> I got the, you know I do the feedback and the uh, I took a picture of myself uh, I you know, I lost a lot of weight and it looked different this and that and love Listen, you love hearing the feedback. You love hearing, oh, you were a fat ass. Um, yeah. You, I mean, that makes you feel good. I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and, and... The attention. Uh, yeah, it feels good when you hear a show like this. Like, oh, Ralph, good. Da, 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 da. But also, you know, when you get 500 fucking messages in an hour, you know, it, it, and you haven't had that in a fucking year almost. It, it, yeah. You know, like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll sit back. It, it does... Yeah, you need just to take time and yeah, yeah. <laughs> get back into time. it. And, and by the way, not. anybody here who's still listening, I can't see the the uh, viewer count. That I don't know. Um, but uh, anyone That's that missed, people. Yeah, well, anyone that I missed out on, I just want to say thank you so much. I um, uh, I wrote this. I worked on this website. I worked on my online activity long before Gamergate started. It was a hobby. It was something that I just did for, you know, live every once in a while. Um, I am very humble to have anyone care about anything I've ever said, written, or done in my life. It really means a lot to me. 
if I would even care that I got out of jail. If would have said 10 years ago, man, there would be, I don't know about tens of thousands, but, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. Wow, think about this, I got out of jail, I'm glad to hear it. If, I w if you would have told me people would actually care about that, I would be touched, and I would tell you you're a fucking lion shit because nobody would care you know what i mean but that's that's the thing um because and, and, and people, that's an and i don't want to get it i could stretch this on for hours that's another thing that always makes me want to and and i apologize if the mics are cutting not off uh, but that's another thing that always makes me want to promote what i can if somebody says hey ralph can you can you publish my my work or can you you know retweet my link or this or that i want to do that i love to do that because i remember nobody giving a single fuck i remember just being in college right my my thoughts and and nobody really caring and so um i remember all that i love to help out people when i can I know that's not my reputation. People might not believe that, but that is actually me. So I just want to. Now, now, Ralph, I could 100% vouch for that. You're yeah. you may be an asshole, but you're an 100% loyal asshole. Exactly. Thank fair. you. And when when I first started doing my show, whatever, you were the first like guest with a with name any name recognition we had, and you said, "Sure, I'll come on your show." I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool." And it was just really nice of you, and we just kind of been buds since. I so. appreciate that, and, uh, you know, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, if, if, if you just know me by the, whatever, I, I don't want to say headlines, not, I don't feel like I'm a headliner, um, but, uh, cause I'm not, you know, maybe a step or two below, but I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm not. You have you have you have name recognition a lot more than you know millions of others out there. That's for sure. Yeah, I have I have some recognition, but it uh, most of it I I will say that most of it is just good luck. You know, Gamergate thing is what blew me up. Um, people from that is what got me an audience. And yes, I did put in work. I did you know try to cultivate that. But uh, I, I I always love to see other people. That that's oh funny. how sweet. No, I'm serious. I I'm dead <laughs> serious. I I don't. Uh, you know sometimes <clears throat> sometimes you look at somebody like, well, how does this mother have goddamn million fucking YouTube followers, or how does this person making fucking three thousand dollars a month? You know, but My name's Philippa. It's easy to get jealous. <laughs> It's a lot harder to fucking put the work in yourself. Compete against you. You know what? People want to try Cernovich. Want to go with Cernovich. Go at yourself. Go at, um, I'm not where I want to be. And I want to be somewhere else. Well, guess what? Put the work in. Do what you have to do. And the only person you're competing against is... So that, there, I put the power. We're going to Auschwitz. That, <laughs> that's the truth, though. That's the truth. And, uh... That, that's that's something that, that takes a while to learn and I got lucky that uh, I got people who care and I just want to thank everyone people, I mean, the super chat stuff tonight, I don't know I, I love it and I appreciate it and I'm sorry if I wasn't you know, as onto it as I should have been but I, I just appreciate all that look at this, pick a Tom <laughs> fucking updates trying to Trying to, <laughs> trying to fuck with me while I'm on the stream. I appreciate that. That's yeah, updates yeah. telling you to wrap it up. It's telling me to wrap yeah. it up. Guess what? I was already trying to wrap it up, but but I just, I just want to be, I don't know. I, it, it's not, I, I just want to try to be real, and so I, I really appreciate it, and I was gone for so long, and I can't even imagine why anybody would uh, maybe I shouldn't put myself down, but I really can't imagine why anybody would care what I have to say, so um, oh. So thank you so much. I want to thank my my uh, wife and life partner and uh, the person who kept the flame going while I was gone, uh, Miss Nora Ralph. Uh, thank it's you Mrs., so much. but all right. That's why I won't say what I was going to say, but uh, 
<laughs> um, thank you, Gator. Thank you, uh, Ian. Thank you. I don't think uh, Sal might have been on her earlier. I'm not sure, but thank you, Sal, for go to mediacentral.net. Thank you, uh, Too Many Cucks. Thank you, Zidane. Thank you, uh, Beagle. Beagle! Hey, man. You are a beautiful son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 Where, uh oh. He just he does have a very wet nose. <laughs> he keeps it wet for a good reason. Oh, good boy. Sam confirmed. <laughs> Stop, can you just wrap it up? So this is why you bought a lot of peanut butter, huh? <laughs> hey, I'll have you so know wet, peanut butter it wet for Ann Coulter. Peanut butter is very high in protein. I'll, I'll just, okay. I'll just okay. Have you thank know. thank the rest of the chat, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you all, and no, I'm very, I'm very serious. Um, uh, this, this was a stream that I guess what I should have done this stream, Mark done. I should have, whatever. I should have set up this stream for tomorrow night. I didn't because I'm an idiot, and so that's why things are off kilter. But I appreciate everyone who showed up. I appreciate, appreciate, especially appreciate everyone who uh, deigned to give me a super chat contribution. I appreciate everyone who listened, and uh, I want to start. Looks back. like I got one more. Uh, do I? Oh shit! So happy to have you back, TRR. Thank you very much, Melissa. And I actually talked to the person, Melissa Carly. Man, no. I don't know. It, it. I could sit here. <laughs> it actually is touching. I, I don't. I don't want to sound fake, but it. It really is. No, no, no. Like, that's cute. It it honestly is, and I've been gone for a minute, so I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you got three love hearts as well, dude. That means I mean, that's serious. Three. Just three. Yeah. yeah. Powers yeah. coming through. Sending you love hearts. Hey, don't worry yeah. about it. Uh oh. I I got enough to go around. Don't worry about it. But uh. What? Sorry. Yeah. Don't worry about it. But yes. Uh... Oh, all right. All right. I, I won't worry. <laughs> Where? <laughs> don't worry. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, but yeah, seriously, I mean, I'm being dead honest. It means a lot, and I uh, appreciate everyone. Thank you. Please. Oh, Nora just gave me a pound. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't say anything though. It just says. Oh Nora. shit! My message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, one pound, Ethan. You best give me that pound back. <laughs> no, pound. no, wait. Just, just, just tell us your. No, it doesn't give you a pound back. I can't. I no, can't tell us. No, tell us. First, I get fired from my job as editor in chief of the Ralph Victor. You get fired. You just you're you're you usefulness. You fired me because I'm brown, and we all know it. I so. did not. I did not. So why can't I be editor in chief? I guess chief what. Anymore? Guess what. It's it's yeah. all it's all pink on the inside. So um. Oh, I hope the Ralph Victor <laughs> hasn't got a gender pay gap. Uh oh. We don't. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. We do have a pay gap. What are you on about? <laughs> we have a gap, but it has nothing to do with pay. Um, oh, my God. And, uh, it's, oh, it's, she's doing it for free. It's, it's, it's all pink on the inside, like I said. And uh, thank you very much. Would you uh, like to have a wife at the end of this stream? Yeah, I, I won't uh, say what. No, stop. I'm not don't raining on that. anyone's parade. Don't worry. I just like Rob Troy's content. We're not worried. We're just. Thank you very much. And, and no, I'm being dead serious. Thank you all. Um, thank you for the tweets. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for everything. Give her that pound back, and I will. Very uh, Editor in chief of the Ralph Short Pit. That's dumb. I didn't. <laughs> On that note, I want to wish everyone a very happy weekend. I don't know if you're watching the Super Bowl or boycotting it or whatever. Um, but. Uh, Happy weekend. Go Eagles. Both. Go Eagles. Fuck the Patriots. I hate Tom Brady. And uh, other than that, I guess that's it. Does anybody have anything else to say before I wrap this up? Next time, welcome. by the way. Welcome back, dude. Welcome uh, back. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Thank yeah. you very much, TNC. And next next time, I will have the screen, uh, you know, completely calibrated. Sorry I couldn't get it working. You know what? So, I hope so. Anything else? No? Yes? No? Nothing. I love everyone. <laughs> Goodbye and farewell.